Archer and Olive. Do you mean whiskey? Archer and Olive. You're saying it weird. How am I saying it weird? All of it. Archer and Olive. What is your problem? I just don't get why you're saying it that way. <laughs> what am I saying what way? Forget it. All right, I will forget it. I will forget it. Denise! Come on. What's she doing? Huh? What's she doing, man? She's just standing around, not doing much. Well, just don't fall asleep. Sooner or later, something's gonna happen. Okay, I just try to stay away. It's just so boring. Oh, slow down, baby. What? Huh? Nothing. I say nothing. You said something. I say nothing. I heard you say something. No, 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 no nothing. What's going on, man? What are you talking about? No! <laughs> it's not right! Lord have mercy! What? She took a... No, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen up, listen up. We're having a celebration tonight at Butter. We're gonna be there. <laughs> and most of you are on the list. Yeah. You're the best. <laughs> guys, I'm gonna say something right now. We couldn't do our job if it weren't for you guys doing all the paperwork, answering the phone. All the gunfights, all the car chases, all the sex we don't want to have with women, but we have to all do to what you guys but, do. But have you, you bought the and subscription box? Hey, 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 you shut your face. If we want to hear you talk, I will work your mouth like a puppet. You hear me? Cash bar. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what that was about, but anyway, um, I'm sure you guys will appreciate it much more than, than them. What's going on, guys? My name is That Journaling Guy, also known as Bryant. Let me flip it. My name is Bryant, also known as That Journaling Guy, and welcome to today's video. Um, I got this, and we all know what this is. It's that time of month again. T time of quarter. It's every three months, so it's the time of quarter. Um, I'm super excited to show you guys this because I've really made sure to try to like keep spoilers like off of like my mind. Like I haven't been clicking on spoilers. I really didn't want to spoil this for myself. I want you guys to have my genuine reaction uh, when going over the subscription box because I'm trying to be as honest as possible. But uh, some really exciting news that I would like to share with you guys is now I'm an Archer and Olive affiliate which is pretty big for me. It's my first actual like affiliate association. It was really important for me to find a brand that aligned with my values. And that's why I decided to go with Archer and Olive. So it was a pretty big deal and I'm really happy about it. If you're ever gonna buy anything from Archer and Olive, you can now use that journaling guy for 10% off of your next purchase, which I'll have in the link below. But that's really exciting. It was super exciting. So I actually was able to use that for people who wanted to get the sub box and, um, it, it just it's just crazy to me to, to think that I had people that were supporting me. So thank you guys for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I, I don't want to keep you guys waiting too much. This box came in its own box. This is the first good condition subscription box I have ever gotten. Like this is in such great condition that I might actually just keep it for something else. Because seriously, they always come beat the hell up. It's a smaller box, by the way, like significantly smaller. Um, so I'm assuming the stuff in here is going to be a lot smaller too, but it's not beat up and now I can make videos with it and I'm going to keep it just in case because that other box was rough to make videos with. It was like, it's like the UPS guy just, you know, before he saw my name, he's just like, yo, and he just beat the hell out of my box. But all right, let's get right into it. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. I don't know what to expect. I think there's a notepad in here. I think I, I wasn't able to like keep that away from myself. Gotta open it sideways. Let's do what? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Welcome to your Archer and Olive subscription box. We're so excited to bring you this month's goodies. Flip the card over to have a look at the exciting new products. Not going to do that. We're not looking at anything. So let's begin. 
Does anyone else feel like journal covers is becoming more of a thing? Because the problem I'm running into is uh, there's no B5 covers. It's really hard to find B5 covers, and I decided to have a B5 bullet journal this year, but there doesn't seem to be any. So I see, this is beautiful by the way, look at that. So I see all these cool A5 journals, wow. This is gorgeous. Look at that. This is really nice. It feels really high quality. But see, like I see these things for like the A5 journals and I get sad because there's nothing for the B5. So they have the pen loop, looks like they have a pocket. I guess you would slide maybe the back page into this to try to keep your journal from sliding. It doesn't seem to have any other way to hold it unless I'm missing something. Because there are usually directions in here and each subscription box is usually themed. So I'm not sure I could be missing something like we did with the stamps before. But this is nice. This is super nice. I like the color. It is a little girly for me, obviously. Um, it is, you know, a woman owned company. I'm not gonna, no hate, only appreciate. I'm probably not gonna use it though. Probably not gonna use it. And now we got, we got a bunch of goodies. Okay. So don't know what that is. We'll check that out. Ooh, acrylographs. Okay. Okay. Adding to the collection. Seriously, with the subscription box alone, I've added a good amount of acrylographs to my collection and I don't even buy acrylographs like that. And I feel like I already have over like 20 of them. Oh, some Archer and Olive washi tape. Okay. Okay. Binder clips. Sweet. Looks like we have a notebook. A5 size, maybe? A ruler stencil. Okay. What else? Oh, we've got some, a pin. We'll go over all of this. And it seems like maybe another notebook. I guess we'll find out. We're not looking through the back. We're not gonna spoil it. <clears throat> Where to start? This is, this feels like a lot more compared to the other boxes. I don't know why. I feel like I only got a few items in the other one, but this is, okay. Let's start. <laughs> okay, let's calm down. All right, let's start with this one. Let's see what's in here. We've got the fancy pantsy unboxing knife. It's a gold knife, by the way. And by gold, I mean it's just gold plated. So it's not even that good. You know, it always gets stuck. Sometimes I cut myself when I unbox stuff, but it's better than using. But it's better than using my teeth because I was I was fixing an iPhone once because I used to work at Staples, and the screw at the bottom got like stuck. So I decided to use my tooth to try to get it out. And now I have a little tiny chip on my front tooth that you can't really notice, but I feel it every time I touch it with my tongue. So ever since then, I stopped completely uh, using my teeth for anything. So now you know. Whoopa. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay, okay. So it's my first Archer and Olive like notepad. I've been seeing these like crazy over Instagram. I've seen like a, a red one, I believe it was. I've seen the regular like Neapolitan one. This is pretty cool to have. And so the purpose of these from what it looks like is not only, not only can you have it for like your notes and stuff, but the idea is that you can use this paper, you can rip it out of here, right? Cause it is perforated at the top and you can use it to decorate your journals that you have now or you're using now. So it is pretty cool. It comes in a, in a lot of different colors. So green, blue and craft the craft is an interesting choice i'm not gonna lie i feel like craft is abundant everywhere else so obviously uh i wish maybe they would have included a different color that kind of goes with the theme maybe like an, a lighter brown but craft paper isn't bad i just feel like it, you you could have gotten it anywhere else i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i really like this blue paper i really really do so we're gonna swatch a little bit see how some pens work with this paper but it is nice this is like quality, quality bill. Craft paper though, not the, not the hypest about. Damn, honestly, I really thought that was gonna be a square notebook. Ever since a Mark from Men Who Bullet like has been using a square notebook, that is like the one size that I don't have. I like, I have the, the TN notebooks now. I have, um, you know, the A5, B5. I have an, like, I have all the other sizes except the square one i don't have a square notebook absolutely love these boxes though look how look like i love that they tried something new with the design with these look how cool that looks 
<laughs> Tell me how that's not, that's not fancy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. So this one is an A5. I didn't look at the back, so I don't want to know what kind it is. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Oh. Gorgeous. Oh, it's a craft book. Listen, listen, listen. Since the last video, my relationship with craft paper has changed dramatically. If you're following me on Instagram, you're seeing that I'm doing a lot of terrible stuff. And <laughs> terrible, I mean like terrible, like tearing something, not bad things. Um, and like including a lot of like paper backgrounds in my spreads lately. So, because my, my month happened to land on craft paper this month and I did an anime theme. So I kind of, kind of, maybe a little bit, a tiny bit, I'm enjoying craft paper. Maybe. Am I going to have an, in, am I going to use an entire craft journal for a bullet journal? Who knows? You know, never say never. Uh, maybe, maybe. But this cover is gorgeous. I do not have this cover. Like color. Oh, this is so interesting. Look at that. Seriously. Like the contrast between the color of the paper, the craft paper and the purple is interesting to say the least but i'm excited i'm excited add this to the other 27 archer and olive journals that i have i have so many now i'm actually gonna buy a bookshelf to display them all because i absolutely adore them yo why do i always struggle with these <laughs> it's okay so it's the let it's the it's a f like it's i don't I'm, i don't even know got a book cover is it's full leather i don't know what it is yes it's full leather and it always gets stuck, but I don't want to rip it. You know, they should make it a little bit wider, a little bit wider. So I don't have to rip it and keep it nice. <laughs> Got it. That's not going back on because I mean, physically impossible. I was about to throw that like it didn't mean it, it means everything to me. look at the design in the front. So the mountain and the night sky, it looks nice. I would absolutely love to go to somewhere like Australia and take some pictures of like astrophotography in the desert. I feel like that would be fantastic. Like, look at that. Tell me that's not gorgeous right there. For this cover though, like the little minimal design seems, it just seems like there's so much empty space. Like maybe they could have done a little bit more or something a little different for this cover um i don't know why it just feels so glaring to me right now that it just it doesn't feel like it's enough i'm gonna be honest i don't know what it is about it maybe it's the color maybe it's the feel but something something seems off about it something i don't know i don't know what it is but something in my bones is telling me it's off about it but it's nice this is definitely i have literally no other journal that looks like this so this is actually pretty cool this is interesting a little cactus pin an ethereal desert look at this yeah, this is nice. I have a little backpack that when I go travel, um, every place that I travel, I buy a pin and I stick it to the back of my backpack. So it's pretty cool. I might actually just pop that on my backpack because, you know, we represent an Archer and Olive now. All right, let me stop, man. I'm embarrassing myself. Embarrassing myself. Spherical. All right, we've got the binder clips. And okay, so I'm super like weary about using binder clips on any of my journals, um, even even like enough uh, on like the traveler's notebooks because they tend to indent pretty crazily. I like them; they they're just they just feel like little clips, you know. I'm not gonna lie, but I do. Oh, I really like that one actually. Look at that. That looks pretty nice. But am I really going to use them for any of my journals? Probably not, because they tend to indent pretty like harshly uh, into your side pages. And then when you take them off, you're going to have that indent forever. And it might even go through a few pages. So I'm a little iffy about these clips. And especially like I have a uh, traveler's journal here, my passport traveler's journal. I also have a clip like that. I actually want to get the authentic traveler's company clip because it's like a nice little square brass clip that doesn't tend to leave these marks. But I'd really like to see, I'd really like to put this on a page and see how it, it, it 
you know how it interacts with the page because it feels like it's going to indent the hell out of it that is a lot of resistance that's a lot of resistance in this clip i'm telling you now now a stencil i'm not a big stencil guy i'm not gonna lie i usually just tend to use a ruler but i feel like incorporating your stencils into your workflow could be you know hugely hugely beneficial time-saving tool and this just looks nice like this just looks like you can do a lot with it it's really good quality too so it's like flexible enough that you can kind of bend it and you don't have to worry about it snapping in your journal but you know it's sturdy enough that when you put it down you're fine these are pretty good the stuff that you get in the subscription boxes in my opinion is still worth it 100 percent. like for the price of the subscription box you're getting all these little things that can add like well over $200 sometimes, you know, that's what the value of the box is supposed to be about $200 for the price of 70 bucks. That's pretty amazing. Check out the washi for the theme, the ethereal desert. Uno by uno, senor, uno by uno. Let's look. Okay. We're going to swatch these. So don't worry. All right. Okay. Dragonfly, butterfly, some snakes, blue. I like it. This is probably my favorite one. Now it's like one of those things where if I use it anywhere, I'm just going to think Archer and Olive. Like this feels like such an Archer and Olive washi tape that it just, it feels like you're not going to get it anywhere else. And then we got the, oh, look at this. This is nice. This is nice. This subscription box genuinely feels like a starter set. Like you get this box, you're good to go. We're gonna go journal. We're gonna, you have it protected. You have your things to draw. You have your things to customize it. It's nice. It is nice. And now, yeah, these are these are actually pretty cool. Now, one of the things I am actually starting to look forward to more consistently is the acrylographs that come within every subscription box or mystery box sometimes because you get exclusive colors that you can only get in the subscription box and nowhere else. You can't buy it on their website separately. Um, so these are exclusive to the subscription box. I really like the color palette of this. Like lately, my color palette on my Instagram has been just different shades of brown and then doing what I'm, what I'm doing. But look at these, man. So yeah, uh, uh, still no type of labeling. They just show the color on the outside. So unless you're some kind of God knowing your colors and somebody asks you what color acrylograph you use and you don't show them, how else are you going to tell them? It's still a pain point for me when buying the acrylographs because when people ask me what colors I'm using, I'm like this yellow, gold. I don't know my colors enough. Okay. I don't know my colors enough to be able to recommend acrylographs to people off the dome. At least the tumbos do a really good job of at least giving you numbers with the tumbos you know i the specific color i used was 847 you find that tumbo you can use it acrylographs still don't have that so these are all 0.7 so they're going to be the fine point pens which you already know how i feel about them i do not like the fine point acrylographs they are annoying to use especially if you let them dry up at any point in time they're difficult to work with in my opinion and my experience oh these are nice look at these little sticky notes oh this looks so cool yeah look at that Boop. Boop. I'm, I'm really enjoying the process of using the less more muted colors like pastels like i'm really enjoying that and these seem a little bit more muted and darker and i really like that color palette so we got a lot. This subscription box feels like it, it had more than usual. I don't know why, what, what it was about this. But we got the stencil, the sticky notes, the pin, the clips, the washi tape, the acrylograph, and the cover. That's a lot. Um, um, but let's do, you know, let's, let's flex a little. Let's do some cool stuff, you know, now that, uh, now that we're aesthetic bullet journalers, we had to have the aesthetic um uh, the aesthetic uh washi tape holder so that's what we're gonna use also i got my boy jim and it's bts don't don't ask me about it it was it was on twitch okay there we go uno Okay, but tell me, tell me the little teeth, like how the teeth 
go into the washi tape. Do you see how the teeth cut off this end of the washi tape? Tell me that doesn't look awesome, it, right? But it looks cool in the green, same green on the washi tape as it is on the paper. Now let's try out the colors. I gotta share them, or no, I gotta break the tip first. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no, already, what happened? What happened? It just, I just pressed it down. What did I do? I didn't even do anything. Okay, let me shake you up. I'll shake you up well. It's always something. Oh, oh, so like a technique that I found that has been really, really good, and I think I saw it on Instagram, I don't know where, was to like press down and rotate the tip to kind of like activate the bristles, like separate the bristles on the new pens. And that has really been a game changer in terms of using the acrylographs. Um, but let's see how this looks in here. Oh, nice, nice. Oh my goodness. That's my fault, 100%. This looks gorgeous on this page. That looks really nice. So let's shake it up first, you know, before I get some people hating in the comments right now. Okay, can't really see anything on this one. They're coming up okay in the green. I don't know if I would really use these colors, obviously, in the green, but I just wanted to see how it came up. It's just green craft paper. It works out. I really like that color. That was really good. So these are the swashes of the acrylographs that come in this box on the green paper, which is also the notepad that comes in this box. And I really, really like this pink, purple, mauve, 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 that one. It looks gorgeous. I'm just probably not a fan of maybe the purple. I don't think I would ever really use it on anything. But overall, they look really good. I'm getting better at using them. Still not my favorite. Still kind of feels the the labeling of the acrylographs is really the biggest pain point for me and these 0.7 tips kill me um i like the three millimeters instead but overall i think the value for this box still stands like it is phenomenal for 70 dollars that you pretty much get a kit to start you from the ground up if you give gift this subscription box to somebody they could immediately start making a very very gorgeous bullet journal um they just give you all the tools and i really appreciate like getting as much as i did for the 70 dollars. 70 dollars, by the way is only like the price of two notebooks on the archer and olive website like that that's kind of how much it costs overall it's not my favorite box but it's pretty good. There's only been three. It's my second favorite. It's not the worst one, but it's my second favorite. I think it's pretty cool. I really, I really like it. I'm always excited. They come out quarterly, so they come out like every three months. It's pretty good. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I always like doing these little unboxes. I even plan on getting some other subscription boxes to open with you guys. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below because it's always really appreciated and it really helps me out. But if you want to see more bullet journaling content where I post my personal spreads and why I do them, I post pretty often on Instagram. So you could follow me at, at that journaling guy on Instagram. And another fun thing that I'm doing is that I'm live streaming on Twitch and sometimes YouTube depends on the content that I'm streaming. But on Twitch, I will be streaming Wednesdays and Sundays from 12 p.m. Eastern time to 3 p.m. Eastern time. Sundays are dedicated to bullet journaling and stationary um, topics. And Wednesday is a study slash work with me uh, stream where we all get together. And it's like a little virtual cafe. We all hang out for about two, three hours where we plan our day out. We use our planners. We get some work done while all talking in chat. It's a lot of fun. So make sure to follow me at twitch.tv at that journaling guy. Um, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, the, that's a big reason that I haven't posted in a little bit just because I've been building that up a little bit, but it's, it's really cool. We're building a really fun little community. So if you don't have a Twitch, make a Twitch, make sure to follow me. All right. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope you guys got to see everything you wanted to see, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.